big drum roll, John, because we've now reached the number one at the top in your list of the uh, creepiest creatures of the deep. And that, in fact, is a thing called the vampire squid. And I'm assuming it's not because it has sharp, blood-curdling canine teeth, but don't tell us about it. Well, why is it called a vampire? I mean, it, I, I guess the whole deep sea is, is almost vampirish, isn't it? Because it's in the dark and it's strange and mysterious and creepy. And this is perhaps the master of the deep sea. It looks like an octopus. And I think it was confused with the octopus. I think it's somewhere in between squid and octopus in a group of its own. It, it's got lots of membranes between it, its tentacles, like the cape of a vampire. And it, when it gets threatened, it can pull this cape over itself, a bit like a hedgehog crawls up into a ball, but it's quite dramatic when it happens. It's got this big red eye, which is again vampire-like, and it's got claws between the tentacles. A lot of these things in the deep sea, we have to kind of imagine what they might be doing. We've got a few clues, like the claws, so presumably it's latching onto something. A lot of squid and octopus have got feeding tentacles, and this species doesn't have them. But what it does have is like these thin web-like strands, and it's thought that those catch maybe little shrimps and things like that. But, you know, you've really got to get down there to have a look at these things. And the trouble is that if you go down there with a, a submarine, you usually have big lights and the submarine's engines make a lot of noise. And, of course, these animals are, are tuned into the slightest bit of light and the slightest bit of noise. And so you go there with a submarine and you're certainly not going to see them doing natural things. Um, and then the alternative to that is trying to fish for them. And, of course, if you bring them up in a net, then you uh, damage them. And, and uh, in fact... Uh, I've got some shots here which are of caught vampire squids, and they're they're beautiful, but unfortunately they've got damaged by the net. They're very, very delicate, and um, and they don't last very long. So it's a real tricky thing trying to see anything in the deep. I mean, to see any natural behavior. Why is it now that you have chosen this as your number one creepiest creature of the deep? It's probably because it is a, a true vampire. It looks the part. It's got its red eye, its black cloak, it's got the claws, and it's found in the deep, dark depths, and it doesn't like sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> 